Hey guys, it is April 1st. Welcome to the month of April. This was probably not what we would have thought we would have been experiencing at the beginning of the year in April, um, but here we are. And I hope um, what I have to go over today encourages you and is helpful in this time of coronavirus. Um, yesterday's reading was Judges 2, and I had somebody ask, why in the world Judges 2? You know, what were you thinking? Um, <laughs> and let me explain what I was thinking. There is a verse in there in Judges 2, verse 3, where it says, Now I say, I will not drive them out before you, but they shall become thorns in your sides, and their gods shall be a snare to you. And so here is the angel of the Lord talking, and basically just saying, you didn't drive out all the nations you were supposed to, um, and now the nations around you are going to be thorns in your side, and their gods are going to be a snare to you. And so here's what I was thinking. Confronting idolatry in our hearts <laughs> is never a fun process. But I think in a time like this, um, when, you know, just a few days ago, we were reading about loving the Lord thy God with all of our heart, mind, soul, and strength, um, that being a touch introspective and going, God, in this time, when you've taken away some of the things that I love, um, what are you showing me? What else is maybe going on in my heart um, that might be ensnaring me? And so I would just ask you as, as a mirror at home um, to think about that. What temptations might there be um, that you might try to cope with as, to cope with in this time, to soothe yourself with in this time? Um, what might be a lure or a bait, a snare um, that could potentially get you? And again, these, these could be many different things. And oftentimes, idols um, are gifts that are turned into gods. And we've seen that in Ecclesiastes. So don't misunderstand. There are God-given gifts and God-given ways of, of, um, of experiencing joy in this life in very ordinary ways. God talks about friends, relationships, food, drink, wine, Go down the list of what we've been learning in Ecclesiastes, all these different gifts that God has given that he calls us to enjoy. But we know that some of those very things can also be ways that we turn into gods that, that, be, that become to us a, a refuge and a shelter, where we try to hide in those things alone and they become godlike to us. And so I just think it's a moment to kind of pause and go, okay, we got more time being at home. We got more time in isolation, um, and just to kind of ask yourself, okay, God, where might my temptations be? And um, to turn to him, that, that, that he would be our ultimate shelter. He would be our ultimate refuge in this time. Um, so that's what I was thinking when it came that it judges. Just a warning, a little checkup inside to say, you know what, God, what, what things do I need to repent of that might be idols in this time? What are you revealing to me? And of course, uh, Psalm 46, um, that God is the one and only God. And so we can be still. He will be exalted. I love how he says that in, in Psalms. I will be exalted. It's not an option. It's going to happen. God will be exalted on the final day. Period. And so now, um, in this time, may we exalt God. May he be our ultimate refuge, our shelter, our safe place. And so I encourage him, go to him with anything you might need to repent of. He will embrace you. He loves you.
don't hide in those other shelters. They're not going to be that ultimate place of refuge. They will always ultimately disappoint. Um, and then, of course, use the gifts that he has given in this time appropriately, um, recognizing him as the giver and not turning those into idols. Hey, hope you have a good day. Bye-bye.